All right, this is our second tutorial walkthrough for the Hour of Code. Uh, you'll see that Brodu uh, once again is lost, and this time he's hungry. Uh, in order for him to find his way back, we need to look for the castles again. So in, in addition, he needs to be able to get three apples. Uh, and we need to find Brodu, obviously, and lead them back. So White Coat is going to look for three apples, and he's going to find Brodu and lead him home. Okay, so before we go hunting for our apples, we need to program him. So programming the white Kodu to pick up the apples, we need to make sure he scores one point per apple, and then once Brodu um, is found and we have three apples, we'll be able to lead him home. Okay, so once again we're going to hit the escape button to edit, uh, go to edit mode. We're going to use the object tool, right click on our white Kodu, and go to program. Okay, you'll see it says in row four we need to add when bump apple. Okay, so when bump plus, and this tells us the apples in the objects menu. So objects plus apple. Okay, so row four once again we want it to do a vanish and then it, it meaning the apple. So when bump apple do combat vanish plus it. Okay, so we programmed Kodu to collect the apples. We're going to run the game and see if it works. So once again, hit Escape, hit the Play button to run the game. And we're going to use the arrow keys to move forward. And we need to bump into the apple. There we go. So uh, this next when do statement, uh, when we program, will give us a point every time we collect the apple. So what we need is when bump apple do, this is a plus one to the white score. All right, so hitting e escape again and the object tool, right click our white Kodu and go to program. Okay, so we need one more when bump apple. So when bump plus objects apple, we're going to do game plus score and then a modifier which is the white score counter. So we're going to do white and then we're going to do plus one point. Okay. So the last statement we need will be when Brodu, the blue Kodu, um, we're going to use the white score to tell him that there's when there's only three apples been collected, right? So let's find out how. Okay. Hitting escape again to program him. Once again, it's zoomed directly to blue Kodu. We're going to right click him, go to program, so line number one already has a score, but we need a little more. So when scored plus the number three points plus the modifier for score color and white. All right. So we've learned how to make an object vanish when it's bumped, uh, to use the score counter, in this case white, to, when we collected the apples, and uh, how to use that count trigger uh, to have Brodu follow us um, when that's that uh, has been achieved. Okay, so after we play the maze, we can try some more things, such as add new objects into the scene, something to make the game a little more fun. Uh, use uh, Kodu to pick them up with a bump and vanish, so new objects. We could also use Kodu to get more score when we bump those objects. Okay, hitting escape again to exit this menu. I'm going to hit the play button to play the game. All right, once again, we're going to use the arrow keys. This time, we need to get all the apples from the game. So you'll see there's one here at the beginning. We just got that one. And in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that I have one point. Now, in this view, you can see the apples as you kind of navigate through, but then you have to go get them. So I saw there was one over here. And now we need to go find the last one. So exploring the maze, I have to go find where this last apple is. So if we went over to our blue Kodu Brodo right now, he wouldn't follow us. Uh, and the reason for that is that we don't have three points because we've told the game that we need three apples. So we're going to keep going here, see if we can find this last apple. And obviously this is a little bit of a spoiler, so if you wanted to play the game and experience this without knowing where it is, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But here we go. So we found the last one. All right, we've got three. Now we need to go find our Brodu again. 
remember where he is. There he is. Okay, so we just need to go find him. You can see there's a rover there shooting things now. So he's very happy to see us, and we're going to lead him out of the maze. And once again, we're looking for those double castles. And Brodu, once he gets to this point, is going to be moving on his own. He won't follow us any longer. And he's going to find his way home. So once again, the pink Kodu gives us a little wrap-up. And then we should see a winner screen. Once again, once you see the winner screen, you've completed this tutorial.